Did you know nearly 20% of temperature-sensitive vaccines are wasted each year due to cold chain failures? And food spoilage and transit costs billions globally. Today, we'll unpack exactly what cold logistics is, how cold chain logistics works, real-world examples, key components, innovations, recent trends, and best practice, and what's changing to keep the cold chain robust and reliable. Let's start. What is cold chain logistics? Definition. Cold chain logistics refers to temperature-controlled supply chain operations for goods that must be stored, transported, and handled within specific temperature ranges, refrigerated, frozen, ultra-cold, throughout each stage. Key sectors. vaccine slash biologics perishable foods, fresh produce, dairy, meat, seafood, sometimes specialty items like certain chemicals. Temperature categories. Category. Typical temperature range. Refrigerator slash standard cold. Plus 2 degrees Celsius to plus 8 degrees Celsius. Frozen. Minus 20 degrees Celsius to minus 15 degrees Celsius or lower for some frozen food. Ultra cold slash cryogenic. Minus 80 degrees Celsius to minus 70 degrees Celsius, notably for some mRNA vaccines. Regulatory slash quality standards, WHO, CDC, FDA, EU regulations define acceptable temperature ranges, monitoring, and packaging standards. Cross-border food safety, laws add complexity. Vaccine cold chain, a real-world case. Pfizer-BioNTech COVID-19 vaccine requirement, ultra-cold storage between approximately minus 80 degrees Celsius and minus 60 degrees Celsius. Any deviation impairs efficacy. Moderna vaccine hot slash cold profile, after manufacturing, frozen storage until use, then once thawed, can be stored at plus 2 to plus 8 degrees Celsius for up to 30 days under proper conditions. Challenges in the vaccine cold chain in many developing countries. Ultra cold capacity is limited. Existing cold storage optimized for routine immunizations at plus 2 to plus 8 degrees Celsius, but not many facilities built for minus 70 degrees Celsius or even minus 20 degrees Celsius freezers. A result, when capacity constraints or delays occur, vaccines may spoil, waste rate increases, or last-mile distribution fails to maintain cold, compromising effectiveness. Cold chain for food-slash-perishables, key insights. Market size and growth. The global cold chain logistics market was estimated at $228.3 billion U.S. dollars in 2024, expected to grow significantly by 2029. In North America, the food cold chain logistics market is expected to reach $86.67 billion U.S. dollars in 2025. Grocery cold storage challenge example. In the U.S. and Canada, many cold storage slash D.C. facilities are older, located far from growing urban centers, resulting in lost miles, produce being transported past nearby facilities only to be sent back. These inefficiencies increase cost, spoilage risk, fuel consumption, packaging and handling, use of insulated packaging, dry ice, cold packs. Note, ice slash dry ice lifespan generally about 24 hours, cold packs maybe up to 36 hours. Importance of minimizing handling transitions to avoid temperature excursions. Key components and systems in cold chain logistics. Infrastructure, cold rooms, freezers, refrigerated transport reefers, ultra-cold freezers for pharma, specialized packaging. Maintenance and backup power are vital. Monitoring and tracking, use of IoT sensors, real-time temperature loggers, GPS for location tracking, alarm systems for excursions beyond thresholds. Compliance and documentation, audit trails for chain of custody, regulatory compliance, FDA, WHO, EU, correct labeling, validated packaging. Personnel training, from drivers handling refrigerated trucks to warehouse staff loading slash unloading, importance of understanding handling protocols. Technology and predictive analytics. AI or ML can forecast demand, detect equipment failure before it happens, optimize routing to reduce time, out of temperature control. Challenges and risks. Ultra-cold capacity scarcity. High cost of freezer and ultra-low freezer equipment, cost of energy. Infrastructure gaps. In many regions, especially in developing countries, cold storage is limited. Delays in transport or in local hubs result in spoilage. Risk of temperature excursion at transfer points. Loading docks last mile. Regulatory fragmentation. Different countries slash states have different rules. Cross-border shipments require harmonization. Operational cost pressures. Energy cost, packaging cost, labor cost. E.g., rising fuel rates increase the cost of refrigerated transport significantly. What you can do. Best practices. Always map the cold chain fully from manufacturer, transport, warehousing, last mile. Validate all packaging and storage equipment. Ensure powered backup. Generators slash solar. Use real-time monitoring, data loggers, IoT sensors, set up alert mechanisms. Build redundancy, multiple routes, buffer storage, contingency for transport. Training and SOPs, standard operating procedures for all actors, handlers, drivers, warehouse staff. Regulatory know-how, 
stay up to date with local laws for vaccines and food safety. Key takeaways. Here's what to take away. Cold chain logistics is about more than just temperature. It's about end-to-end -end control, visibility, and timing. Vaccines and perishable foods have different temperature profiles and risk points. Ultra-cold storage is rare and expensive. Real-world challenges, like infrastructure gaps, transport delays, regulatory complexity, can break the chain. Innovations, IoT, AI, real-time monitoring, solar-slash-portable units, are helping reduce waste and improve safety. If you're in supply chain, logistics, procurement, or public health, assessing your cold chain maturity, investing in monitoring, and planning for contingencies is non-negotiable. Thanks for watching. Click the join button now and become part of the smartest supply chain community on YouTube. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. More real-world supply chain breakdowns coming your way. Stay cool, stay safe.